Hi, this is part two in our lessons on doing lags. In this exercise, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the forward and backward pass with start to finish and finish to finish lags. And here we have a start to finish lag. D can't finish until seven days after the start of C. And here we have a finish to finish lag. D can't. F can't finish until three days after the completion of D. So again we start with zero for the first activity. The earliest it could be completed if it's supposed to take two days is the second day. We can start both B and C. Two plus two is four. Two plus four is six. Then E can start. Six plus three is nine. And we'll stop there. Now we've, we can start D as soon as B is done, which is 4. But for the finish of D, we have to look at not only the fact that D can start as early as the fourth day and only takes three days, which is 7, but we have to honor this lag that seven days after the start of C, D can finish. So we add 2 plus 7 is 9. We choose the larger number going forward, and that's 9 for the earliest finish for activity 9, respecting this lag. Then we go to F. F can start as soon as E's done, which is the ninth day. And here, we just, that's a little bit of a typo. We're going to leave that blank for now because we haven't calculated that. But now we want to find the early finish for activity F. 9 plus 1 is 10, but F can't finish until three days after the completion of D. The earliest D can be completed is the ninth day. Three days after that is the twelfth day. And so here we have our choice, and we choose 12. I'm going to put it over here because it's a little squibbly there, but you know what I mean. Twelfth is the early finish for this uh, activity. So it also would be the latest finish for that uh, activity since we don't want to delay the project any longer than necessary. 1 minus 12 is 11. And 11 down here is 8. And then here we've got to take that 12, but now we subtract 3 from the 12, which makes it a 9 again. 3 minus 9 is 6. We take 8 to here. And then here we've got to not only take into account that the late finish for activity C is 8 and 4 minus 8 is 4, but also we have this start to finish lag and that influences this late start. So we take that 9, subtract it from 7, which means 2. So we have two choices for the late start. When we go backwards, we always choose a smaller number, so that becomes 2. Here it's simply 6. 2 minus 6 is 4. We have our choice of 4 or 2 for the late finish for activity A. Choose a smaller number 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So then we subtract to determine the slack. It's 0, 0. It's 2 up here, 2 up here, it's 0 here, it's 2 there, 2 and 2, and 2 and 0 there, it's 2, and remember that that's a 12 there, it's 0. So here we have a situation where the critical path looks like that. And so it's A to the start of C, to the completion of D, to the finish of F is the activity. And this will often happen when you have these two kinds of lags. You'll have one, in both cases, in these cases, it's the finish times that are on the critical path, or in this case, it's the start, but not both. And so this is a little more complicated form of slack, and you need to be able to uh, appreciate that.